Song Pond TV. Hi, and welcome to Song Pond TV. My name is Ruth, and I'm going to be your host for this episode. Going to be bringing you a special tip for the day, as well as a free piano lesson. And remember, this Song Pond TV is brought to you by the new website www.songpond.com, where you can learn to play your favourite songs. This is episode five, and what that means for you is we have four other episodes that you can go and check out, also featuring um, some great tips and techniques and free piano lessons all there for you. The great thing about Song Pond TV is it is completely viewer-based. What this means is that we are teaching what you want to learn. So to have your say and tell us your opinions, all you have to do is go to the website www.songpond.tv and click the link that says have your say and that will send us in an email telling us what you want to see on the upcoming episodes. Right, so in today's episode, we're featuring a tip on how to clean your piano keys properly and also a lesson on voice leading with your chord progressions. Let's get into that now. Okay, so in today's episode, we're looking at how to clean your piano effectively. And uh, this is something that a lot of people uh, just kind of attack their pianos with all sorts of cleaning products and uh, little tools. And you can actually really damage your piano if you're not doing it properly. So what we need to do is remove uh, the dirt or build, build up of dirt on your keys without causing any damage to them. And so you don't really want to get any sort of cleaning products or try not to um, be tempted to get little sticks and cloths and poke things into the gaps of the keys. We just want to clean the surface, which is called the key slip, um, which is often made out of plastic or ivory. Um, and if you use any sort of chemical chemicals on these, um, any alcohol or even water um, can damage it and also strips it of its natural oils which make it um, nice and easy to play um, with your fingers. So what we want to do is clean it, getting the grime off but not making them sticky and dry. So what you can actually do is you can go to your um, technician or your uh, local piano dealer and you can actually get a specialised cleaning solution, especially for cleaning keys or otherwise you can just get a very slightly damp cloth and use a really gentle mild soap and just gently um, rub those keys and immediately dry them off as well and that way you're not leaving moisture on them and then will eventually go into mould. One other key thing when you're cleaning your keys is to try and keep away from cleaning the sides of the keys where there's um, which is in the gaps of each key, it's actually raw wood. So if you uh, get any moisture or cleaning solution down there, that's just going to build up and create more grime and more of a problem. So that's our tip for today, how to clean your keys. Remember, be gentle on them. They do seem solid, but uh, it is really important that they keep their natural oils so that you can play them uh, nicely. So we're going to go on to the lesson to for today. We're looking at voice leading your core progressions. All right, in today's lesson, we're having a look at voice leading. Um, and this leads on from and uses some of the techniques we learned in episode two of Song Pond TV. So if you haven't already had a look at that, go back and watch that now because that will help you a lot um, with learning this concept. And that was on chord inversions, and we're going to be using chord inversions today. When there is a series of chords in a row, this is called a chord progression. And when playing a chord progression, the hand must jump around a lot from one root position to another. So if we've got the chords, so we've got D, C and G, my hand is having to move around the keyboard a bit. Um, and with generally when you've got a chord progression of a long string of chords, you can end up moving around the keyboard quite a lot. So to avoid this and improve the playability of a piece, we can voice lead our chord progression by using chord inversions. And this is what I was talking about before, it's featured in episode two of Song Pond TV, um, so you can learn about first and second inversion. Voice leading is when the voices of a chord, or commonly referred to as the chord tones, lead from the voices in the present chord to the voices in the next chord. And I'm gonna give you an example. So if you've got the chord from C major to G major, so that's quite a big jump. But by voice leading, I can change it to C major to G major. And that, what that's doing is each voice, that voice is going down to B, this voice is going down to D, and that voice is staying in the same place. So each voice is moving as minimally as possible. 
so that our hand hardly has to move to change between chords. So when we rearrange each chord to change the chord tones to be moving um, in very small steps or not at all, um, this is what we're creating chord inversions, which is what we talked about in episode two. And by creating these chord inversions and not having to move around the keyboard a lot, that is voice leading. So all you need to do is take the notes in the chord and rearrange them to be close to where your hand already is. So no matter what the order of the notes are in, they are still forming the same chord, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's try an example. So let's try the example of playing C major, G major, D major, which if we were playing root position, G, C major, G major, D major. So that's quite a bit of movement for our hand. And so now we're going to take the notes of C major, we, we take the first chord and stay on that one, and then we think about G major, so we've got the notes G, B and D, how can we arrange them so that they're closer to where our hand already was for the C major? Well I've got my G already in the little hand, so I'll just, in the little finger, so I'll just leave that there, um, and then I need to get a D and a B, which are up here. But there's also a D and a B down here, which is a lot closer to where my hand already is, so I can choose those notes instead. And so even though that's a completely different place to where the root position G major chord is, it's using the exact same notes, so it is the exact same chord. So we've just moved from C major to G major, and then if we do the same thing with D major, which we would have to move up to here, which is the root position, we take the same notes, D, F sharp and A, and we think, I've already got a D on this finger, so I'll just leave that there. And then I need an F sharp and an A. I can use that F sharp because I only have to move down to there with my, my ring finger. And then I need an A, which I can use this one. And my thumb only has to move down. So I've just moved smoothly from G major to D major. So our chord progression, instead of being all over the place, C major, G major, D major, We've used chord inversions and voice leading to mean that we go C major, G major, D major with relative ease. So the idea of chord inversions, you start with your first chord and determine the next chord. If it's too far away to move, then you can rearrange the chord tones to make it as close as you can possibly get. By using this technique, this means that you can play a complete chord progression or a complete song without hardly having to move your hand around at all. And this not only makes it easier to play, it makes it easier to listen to and more fluent. Some uh, song pond lessons that feature uh, voice leading chord progressions very heavily um, are, I can tell you to go have a look at the song lessons for Imagine by John Lennon and also Clocks by Coldplay and Angel by Sarah McLaughlin. It's a very popular song at the moment and that features um, very heavily the technique of using voice leading. So have fun with that technique, it is going to be really good for you um, and also it's less to think about when your hand doesn't have to move around as much. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to have your say with that link on Songpon TV um, and tell me what it is that you want to learn and then I'll teach it for the upcoming episodes. Okay, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. SPTV. Proudly brought to you by songpond.com, where you learn to play your favorite songs.